What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you, well I'm actually going to remind you to update your cores and update your emulators. Now this isn't totally mandatory, if everything you got is working fine then you really don't need to do this, but a lot of these new updates for the RetroArch cores and standalone emulator cores add better compatibility, some games didn't work in let's say version 1.2, but they now work in version 1.3. But in the end, it's really up to you. Like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Unfortunately, there's no magic button that you can click and update everything at one time. So we kind of got to go through our emulators and see what we got. First thing I want to show you is how to update RetroArch cores. Now you can always go to the Libretro website and download the newest core pack and throw it in your cores folder. But I usually just go to emulators, open up my RetroArch, because personally, I don't use every single core here and I don't want every single core downloaded. The first thing I do is head to Online Updater, Update Core Info Files, and this isn't mandatory, but I always update databases just to be safe. Now that those are updated, we're gonna go to Core Updater. So like I said, I don't use every core in RetroArch and I know which cores I use and which cores I don't. So I can just kind of scroll through here and first up, so first up, a core I've been using a lot lately is the Raycast core, Naomi, Atomus Wave, and Dreamcast. So I'm just going to hover over it, press enter, it's going to download the newest version of that core. Another one I use a lot is Genesis Plus GX. So basically, this is an easy way to pick and choose which ones you would like to update. You just go through, find the core that you use, and update it. Next up, I'm going to show you how I update my standalone emulators. I'm going to go to my emulators folder inside of my LaunchBox folder. And one that I noticed was really out of date was PPSSPP. This is the PSP emulator. I'm just going to launch it real quick. The version that I've been using for a long time is version 1.4. Well, if I head over to their website, version 1.74 has been released. So all I'm going to do is download 1.74, I'm going to find the correct download. I'm going to shut this down. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to extract it. And all I'm going to do is take everything out of this new 1.74, place it right in here. So now when I launch PPSSPP, I'm going to be on the latest version. 1.74 instead of version 1.4. And basically, that's what you're going to have to do to update all of your emulators. Like I said, this isn't totally mandatory, but it can help with performance in some cases. So that's why I wanted to go through and update everything that I could. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. This was more of a PSA than a tutorial, but I just wanted to kind of get this out there because I noticed a lot of my stuff was out of date, and possibly yours could be also. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.